Hello. After when you um, tuck your facing into the front panel, the next um, um, stage would be it's gotten your um, the next stage would be machining your facing together. But before we do that, my advice would be is to press a little bit your um, your seam allowance here. The reason is because it's when it's tucked, it's um, it's uneven. So just to flatten that area. So just press a little bit only into the seam allowance, nothing else. Do not go into your actual lapel or into your gown. So just only into your seam allowance and just flatten, flatten that area, which is, will help you to, um, to machine. Um, when you've done that, um, the next stage would be is to machine in um, your um, facing into your front edge. Um, you need to measure three centimeters. That's a standard measurement of your lapel. Three centimeters from that point. That's quite important that point because that's where the collar starts. If you are um, machining just over that, that could be, um, you have to unpick it to fit the collar because the collar would be too big. Or if you are machining under, so just away, that means the collar will be too small. So it's very important that you do that. So three centimeters from that point, okay? So um, then machine along the, uh, your front edge. So how I've already done it here. And you machine it to the point uh, where your, um, where your pleat starts. So what I did is I just stopped just before um, before my um, pleats starts there. So I can get in into the pleats and finish the pleat in this. It's, can you see that? So you can finish the pleat there. So yeah, so I stopped just before. So if you see that, that's my marking there. So uh, the pleat starts probably here. So yeah, so you just start to be, um, finish it just before. The next um, stage would be when you machine that is um, again you know you can um, take your tucking out which is already start doing that um, at the front edge and what is left is on the lapel so I'm going to take that out as well um, before we do further pressing. So, Done that. And you definitely will need to do pressing, but not straight away. Okay, so we've done that. So this is a good opportunity actually to um, take your um, other tucking inside, which is your um, tailor's tucking. Can you see that inside? So using a tweezers, which is the, I found is the best, and just taking them out. It's a good um, things to do as you are um, making your gown because that way you don't end it up to do it all at once. Um, so I'm just going to turn it inside out just to see if it's anything else is left in there. So yes, yeah, so I continue taking my, see that some more tuck in there in the seam. So you just take it all, all of that um, back in. Okay, so after when you've done that, it's the time again to press. We need to press your seam allowance again after your, um, after your machining. So just to make your things and only into the seam allowance. And you just continue doing it along the front edge. Press it along the front edge, just continue pressing. Again, as I said, only into the seam allowance, just to make it nice and flat for you when you, when you trim your seam allowance. Now, the next part would be, we need to cut the seam allowance. It's way too much here at the front. And it's very important how you do it. So I'm just going to reverse that so you can see. So you see that. So mark, mark about, um, one centimeter so again that's my mark it's very important mark where the um the collar starts of your lapel so mark one centimeter from that edge yeah and then continue marking all that yeah from from there the next part would be so look and um, watch carefully so i'm going to 
snip in that area here. So I'm going to snip right to my um, machine stitching, but do not cut your machine. So it's very important to do that. So cut that right to my machine. Can you see that? So now I've cut that. But I didn't cross my machine stitching. If you cut it, you will end up with a hole. If you undercut it you, again, you will can't reverse, you can't turn it inside out properly. And I'm going to cut my seam allowance. So along, along the line. Okay, and you continue. Okay. Now come to the um, point right at the bottom. So you got extra similar, so you can keep that extra similar or you can trim a little bit, depends. Uh, what you actually make and it depends on the experience as well. So I'm just going to trim just a little bit but again I'm going to keep as much as I can with my seam allowance just in that area because that's going to be attached to your um, to the back panel. Right, the, um, so just tidy up. Thank you. The next um, but would be we're going to cut um, seam allowance from your facing and lining. So um, because it's quite thick along that area, can you see that? So we need to um, to cut some um, some seam allowance there. So it would not finish in the same in the same point. So halfway of your seam allowance. Yeah, so half of yours, so which just would be five millimeters, and you just continue cutting. Yeah. So can you see clearly? So if I just turn it that way, so maybe you can see that better. So I'm cutting half of that, only facing. Okay. Yeah, and then. So you have uh, different layers of the um, seam allowance. So you see that. So you continue to do that with um, lining as well. Um, sometimes you can keep your lining as it is because it's so thin. But um, I intend to do um, with the lining the same. Just create the less thickness like that. And then you can continue all the way through. Yeah, to keep it some of your extra seam allowance right at the bottom on your facing, okay? Um, so now if you go and look here, so you've got extra seam allowance here. So on your seams, where you've got the join two um, seams together, waistline with the waistline on the both sides, so you've got quite thickness of the seam allowance. So what you go inside, you fold your linen tape and you will um, uncover the seam allowance here. So if you look at that, yeah, so you can trim that as well. So what I'm going to do that, that's from your top part. You can see that. So, like this. so that's my seam here on the send on the waistline. And then you've got that little seam. So you just need to be just cut that just um, releases the thickness of that. So I hope that will make, make sense, yeah? So that's, there. okay. So that's your seam allowance, your front seam allowance, yeah? On the waist, if you fold, fold it that over, you can see the um, seam allowance here, which is the work we machined your uh, skirt with the, um, with the top and those seam allowance can be trimmed here, okay? And that will be covered anyway. Okay, so um, that's done. And um, I will see you in the next session when we're going to, I'm going to show you how to press. See you later, bye.